live product launch from Techquipment. Today, my name is Dion Knowles. I'm the marketing manager here at Techquipment. And I am also joined by my colleague, Chris Rubini. Chris is the, uh, the genius behind what we're going to be bringing you today. Um, Chris, are you there in your home office? Yes, good morning to you. Good morning, good afternoon, and wherever you are from the world, and maybe you're in Australia and then it's very late in the evening. It's fantastic to see so many people joining us live here today. Do pop your name and where you are in the world in the chat box. It's great to see you there and see where everybody is watching from. We've got, we've got Brazil, we've got the USA, we've got India, we've got parts of the UK, we've got Kent, Hertfordshire, Staffordshire, Cambridge in there. Um, lots and lots of people joining us from all around the world. In a few moments, I'm going to be introducing VDAS eLab software and remote view hardware from Techquipment. This is a solution to the COVID-19 remote and socially distanced learning needs for colleges and universities around the world. Throughout the course of this live launch, you can put your questions in the live chat box. If you are watching this on demand, then do use the comment box below and put your questions in there. I'll be firing some link, links out on the chat box as well for you to find out more information. So let's have a look now. Uh, this is a little bit of what I prepared earlier. VDAS eLab software and add-on hardware. This is a flexible and easy to use cloud-based system that allows students who are studying remotely to interactively engage and participate in lab experiments for adaptable blended learning approach. With VDAS eLab, an unlimited number of students can simultaneously acquire and process live experimental data remotely from their computer, just as they would in the lab. We know that practical hands-on learning is the best way to learn, but restrictions on lab access to mitigate infection risks mean alternative solutions are required. In developing the solution, we wanted to retain as many aspects of the lab experience as possible, whilst allowing students to engage with the experiment remotely. There are two main elements of the offering from Tech Equipment: the VDAS eLab software and live stream multi-camera video that allows the demonstrators to show live visual feeds of different aspects of the experiment. Both run concurrently, so students can see and hear the experiment at the same time as seeing the live experimental data. You can choose to opt for just the VDAS eLab software or the complete bundle with live stream visuals of the physical experiment. The lab technician, lecturer, or postgrad student can deliver the physical lab and share live data with the students remotely or socially distanced within the same building or room. Students can acquire and analyze data individually in real time with VDAS eLab on their own computers from anywhere in the world with a one megabit internet speed. It can also be used in a group scenario where one student from a group physically attends the lab to perform the experiment, while the other team members remain at home recording and analysing different data points. The VDAS eLab software works with Tech Equipment's VDAS enabled products like we have here with the gyroscope experiment, which beyond the optional cameras and mounting requires no extra hardware. The low bandwidth requirement means that students in more remote areas of the world are not disadvantaged and are still able to engage in practical learning. Let me explain how it works. In advance of the teaching session, students download the VDAS eLab onto their computer. Then, like we show here, you run the practical teaching experiment in your lab and connect the VDAS hardware to a computer running the VDAS eLab. The students join the online class. They might be in another room because there's no space to socially distance safely in the lab or in their home office. The online class can be hosted on any of the major online meeting platforms such as Zoom, Google Teams, Microsoft Teams, WebEx or GoToMeeting. At the same time, students can each run their own version of the VDAS eLab software locally on their own computer and connect to the VDAS eLab physical experiment session being run by the person in the lab. To ensure security, this is done by secure private encrypted data transfer methods and standard IoT protocols. 
You have the potential to run VDAS eLab and have a remote classroom with live camera feeds like we're showing here at the same time. So they can run in conjunction or they can run independently. There's no digital connection between the two. Back to VDAS eLab and what you can do. The person hosting the session, maybe it's a lecturer or a lab technician or even a student, they can see who's connected and disconnected at one time. For the student remotely, the power here is about independence and ownership of their practical learning experience. They're the ones in control of collecting, recording and analysing data. Within one group of students, a member of staff could ask each person to capture a different time window of data and analyse it within VDAS eLab using the tables, charts and custom calculations. Academics can then judge the levels of engagement and understand using tech equipment, teaching equipment, the transition to offering an engaging practical session remotely is simple. All participants download the software and then begin streaming and receiving live experiment data in a matter of seconds. There is the option to purchase the multi-camera video capture package that includes a set of camera mounting systems alongside separately purchased cameras and many cam software. To learn more about the flexible, intuitive, engaging, remote practical learning solution for use with VDAS enabled products from Tech Equipment, please get in touch with your local Tech Equipment representative or click on the links. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Tech Equipment YouTube account to be notified of all the latest video releases. Thank you for watching. Okay, well, I hope you found uh, that a good introduction to what we're offering. Now I'm going to go on to talk about this in a little bit more detail. So next up, just to reiterate to you, um, what are the elements of the offering? I've already explained it in a pre-recorded video that I prepared earlier. Um, there are two main elements to this here. We have the data capture side, which is the VDAS eLab. And then on the other side, we have the multi-camera video option where you can all incorporate live streams of experiments and demonstrations that's happening physically in the lab with students around the world. These are entirely independent. As I've mentioned, just a reminder, students can work simultaneously. The beauty of this is we're talking about people aren't working on one shared platform. Students are downloading the VDAS eLab software, the same software that the academics or the lab technician or whoever's actually running the physical experiment in the lab. And what's being transferred is the live data. So they all get their own copy of that live data. So once that live data has come into their own computer with VDAS eLab, they can then do independently and simultaneously recording, calculating, charting, all the standard functionality that comes with VDAS. And because it's only about transferring this live data, it's a low, it's got a low network bandwidth. So in fact, there's only one megabits per second for the most data intensive experiments are needed to transfer the data. In fact, for many experiments, it's significantly less than that. Academics can also monitor the engagement. So when you're running up as an academic, as a demonstrator, VDAS eLab, within the connection view, you can see what students have connected and at what time. So it's all in a time log status there. And you can see when they might leave so that you can check are people participating in the session or not. So um, I just had some feedback that the audio is a bit wonky as you're watching the, um, the audio through the webcast. I'd like to make you aware that that segment that I showed you just there um, is a pre-recorded segment. It's a separately available video. You will be able to use the link uh, that you can see there in the chat box and we'll put it in the comment box for those watching on demand as well. You can also see it on our regular playlists and it will go public in, in exactly 39 minutes. On to next, now to understand a little bit more about the remote view perspective. You saw there that students can 
enjoy and look at this remote view, uh, many camera, multi-aspect side of things. And what Tech Equipment's offering here is we're offering a hardware bundle uh, with cameras, with mounts, with tripods, and you would connect that to the ManyCam software. This is software that is compatible with many classroom meeting setups, which I will talk about in a few moments. So next, I'm going to go through some of these things, as I mentioned in the pre previously, in a bit more detail. One is about integration and monitoring with the software. So one aspect is it it's already works with your existing IT infrastructure infrastructure. So it's got a single outgoing port and it uses a standard firewall configuration. So there's no IT administration costs. It also shows, I've already mentioned the connection status of students, the fact that students can work independently as well. Next is about data streaming and security. I've already mentioned that low network bandwidth requirement, but security is something that we've not necessarily covered much so far. And I want to highlight this because of course we need a secure environment for students to work with. So we've used standard IoT protocols. We use encrypted data transfer methods, and we also use a cloud encrypted key security system in this to make it very, very secure. Okay, so next is, talking more about the flexibility of the VDAS eLab software. What it really means is you can use it in the same classroom. So you might have a scenario where you've got uh, quite a large lab, you know, lucky if you've got a large lab with lots of space, but because of social distancing requirements, you can't have all the students gathered around a piece of equipment. It would be entirely possible to spread the students around the lab at different desks, have them logged into their own version of VDAS eLab and connected to ManyCam in an online classroom within the same room and being able to see those details as you would if you were stood right next to the piece of apparatus. So there's where that's one option. There's another option, you could do it in the same building, you could do it on the same campus, or you could be anywhere in the world. And it's that low bandwidth requirement that really opens it up and makes it uh, very much of a level, um, equal opportunities for all. So if you've got students that are shielding because they've got um, health risks, then they are able to engage in the experience just as much as any other student. The next thing is I want to talk a little bit about compatibility. VDAS eLab, by the very virtue of the name VDAS, implies that it works with VDAS enabled products. So that is a products that have all the VDAS functionality and the VDAS hardware. So it's working with a benchtop VDAS unit or a frame mounted VDAS unit. You don't need any extra hardware if you're already set up for the standard VDAS setup. The only thing you need is to download the VDAS eLab software. If you're doing the multi room view, then you need to get yourself the hardware and uh, set yourself up with a Microsoft Team meeting or a Zoom meeting. And we recommend utilizing ManyCam. And ManyCam is a separately purchased software package. So let's talk about that ManyCam view. With ManyCam and using these, this hardware, which consists of mounts and cameras, you can have picture in picture. You can set up different presets. So for example, you could run an experiment. You could establish that at the beginning of the experiment, you're going to look at one part of the piece of apparatus uh, and you want a close up as well within that view. And then it may be that later on within the experiment, you need a different view of the apparatus and you can set those up in advance. Last Friday, I was at a university. We were working with them on a trial of this. And we were working with the students and the lab technician who was running a classroom. And one of the things I was told while we were there is they aim to have near TV quality uh, standard of remote lab sessions. And this is a really, really powerful tool in making that possible. And with ManyCam and using the hardware, it's compatible with Microsoft Teams, WebEx Meeting, Google Meet, Zoom, all the major online meeting platforms. Lastly, on this point, I want to talk about customer support. 
by having this data and by being able to use the multi-camera view, there is the possibility where we can really improve the diagnostic capabilities of the customer support team. So if you're having problems getting the results or following the instructions, then we can work through that those live with you during a VDAS eLab live session and a multi-camera classroom session. On to how does it work? Now, I've already been through it very quickly, but I want to reiterate in this point how it works. The first step of the process is that everybody involved, that's the demonstrator, um, i.e. I'm talking of either the lecturer or the lab technician or the postgrad student, or even a member of a group, a student member within a group, that person who's running the demonstrator, they download the eLab software. The same software is downloaded by all the students. It's the same software used for everybody. So you download that on your own computer, you do the install. It's really quick and easy. Then you connect, you make sure the person who's running the physical experiments of the lab has their experiment connected with their VDAS hardware, has it connected to the laptop, has the VDAS software running, they then open the data sharing connection and they put in the encrypted details and the student on the other hand, wherever in the world they may be, they open VDAS eLab and then they open the connection settings and connect to receive the data. So now you've got the connections between uh, everybody around the world, wherever you are, and you're ready to start doing the experiment. At this point, you may well have already started your online class or you might then start to run it up. After that, everybody's in their online class. Everybody's uh, viewing with the multi-camera if they've gone for that option. It is entirely independent, so you don't have to do both. Uh, and then you can start doing the live experiment as the person in the lab using the apparatus, for example, the gyroscope apparatus that was shown there earlier, then uh, that live experiment data feed that is coming from the VDAS goes to everyone around the world using VDAS eLab. It is live streamed in the moment. And then students, as I explained earlier, can simultaneously and independently live record and analyze the data remotely. Okay, so next up, if you want to get hold of this, you want to buy this option, let me now explain what your options are. You've got two elements, as I explained earlier. You've got the VDAS eLab software, and the software is a yearly annual license. This license includes the software and the data sharing capability as well. And the licenses work as follower, follows. You've got one demonstrator license. The demonstrator refers to an experiment. So if you had a gyroscope experiment that I explained earlier, then you would just buy the license, a one demonstrator license, if you wanted to you share and do a classroom session with that. Now, if you happen to also have a centrifugal pump module, a wind tunnel, um, an engine test bed, then you're going to need more licenses and you would be going for the five demonstrator license option. It doesn't matter how many students you are streaming to, whether it's two or whether it's 2000, it doesn't affect the amount of demonstrator licenses. They are very much connected to the equipment that you're running. If you've got a massive lab, maybe you're a university like Texas A&M in the USA, they've got a lab where it's a multidisciplinary lab that serves lots of different degree courses. They've got lots of pieces of kit. They might be in the scenario where they might want to get unlimited demonstrator licenses. It's just an example. I'm using them purely to illustrate an example there. Next is, so we've explained how the software works and independent, entirely independent to that is the remote view hardware. You do not have to have both. You can have one or the other. We're simply offering you here a one-stop solution. So if you want to have multi-camera view as part of your live online classroom, then you could purchase remote view hardware bundles. And here we've got four different bundles. Uh, we've got one, two, three, 
and three plus and three and the plus denotes um, the floor standing equipment and the number denotes the amount of cameras so one camera two cameras three cameras etc and then you have tripod stands and mounts as part of those packages now we do have an introductory offer uh, this introductory offer is that VDAS eLab software is free with any VDAS enabled product that you might purchase before the end of October this year, October 2020. So, for example, if you are buying a gyroscope apparatus, because I'm using gyroscope as the example today, between now and October 2020, you are entitled to get VDAS eLab software free. That's a one year license. So there we have it. Finally, I just want to cover off some resources. The link that I put in there for the video does not go live till for another uh, 40 minutes or so. So do check that out um, and you'll be able to see that very soon when it goes live. We also have plenty of material on our website. You can look at the individual software packages, the hardware packages. We've got a flyer on there as well. We've got data sheets and we've got the separate video I mentioned. Over the course of the coming weeks and months, we'll be sharing more material, how-to videos, looking at different elements of the package in more detail. So do keep checking back. And I guess this is the point where I could remind you if you're not already subscribing to the Tech Equipment YouTube channel, it might be an idea to, if you're interested in this, um, because we will be putting out more video content and you will get notified if you're subscribing and clicking the notification bell. So at this point, that's pretty much a general roundup of what we're offering with uh, VDAS eLab software and the remote view hardware package. If you are thinking about how can I go and buy this? Well, you can get a quote through techquipment.com, go to the individual um, product listings, put them in your shopping basket and request a quote. Alternatively, you can also contact your local tech equipment representative and they will help you there. So I'm going to now put some links within the chat box so that you can find out more information. Do let us know, is, do you feel this is going to work for you? Is this going to help solve your remote education challenges of how can you engage students? We'd really appreciate your feedback. And any questions you have, um, then do feel free to ask those. I do have Chris Rabini, our tech expert, on the line with us. Uh, so we are fully prepared and ready to go to answer your questions. Now, if you are wondering who your local tech equipment representative is, I'm just about to put a link in the chat box so that you can click on the interactive map there and find out who that is. Now, this is the point where I can breathe um, and remind everybody that, um, that this is live and you can ask your questions. Chris, you're sat in the home office there. Um, have you got anything else that you feel we should add at this point? Yeah, Dion. Um just that the, the data sharing is just so simple to use for the, for the students. Um, we know how complicated it can be to get software working. Um, this we, we've deliberately tried to make it simple. Yeah, it's just a straightforward download. Um, no registration, click and go. And, and as Chris says, it really is that simple. So, I mean, Chris has a software engineer, he's gonna say it's that simple. Me as a non-techie, uh, I had to download it at the last minute when I was out last week. Um, and I'm not that au fait with BDAS, if I'm honest. And it was so, so very simple. Uh, so it's very easy for people to get up and running. I see um, over here on the chat, David T Stack from Texas A&M. I'm sorry I have used your lab as an example, but I think it's a great example of illustrating how, um, how much you've got there and, and you might have a big need there. Uh, and I'm pleased to see that, um, that you feel that this solution looks good. Certainly do get in touch with um, Warner Brown and have a chat with him about the pricing options there. 
In terms of a copy of this video, various people have been asking me for this. This will be available to watch on demand. So this very link that you've clicked on today will be live and remain live on our YouTube channel for you to watch and share with your colleagues at any time. Um, that, that video, the separate embedded video that you can see in the middle of my screen here, that will be going live very soon as well and that will be available to watch too. So we've had another question now from Julian. Julian says, will the VDAS eLab software work in all platforms? We're talking Window, Mac, Luna, Linux rather. Uh, Chris, I'm going to hand over to you uh, to answer that one. Okay, no. So this software is a Windows only software. If you need to run it on another platform, I'm afraid you'll need to use some virtualization technology. Okay. Brilliant, thank you very much. So virtualization technology is the way forward if you're, um, if you're working on a Mac, for example. Okay, any last questions before we round up this live launch session today? I want to remind everybody uh, that you can find out more information using the links to the side. And thank you very much for joining us today. Um, and before we go, we've had one quick question, which is about security. Um, Kofo Engineering is saying, our IT does not allow all of the video conferencing software that was represented. Our IT would want to verify security. Um, Chris, have you got any comment on that or do we need to come back to Kofo Engineering? Uh, in, in terms of verifying security, the offering we're presenting is the ManyCam. Um, it's a, a very, very simple piece of software to use. Uh, once you've installed it, it presents a virtual camera that you can then feed out to your meeting uh, platform, be it Zoom or uh, whatever. Um, so in terms of security, I, I'm not quite sure what you mean on that. Okay. Okay. Well, if you've got further questions, then do if, come back to us, email us, um, put in the comment box on YouTube and we will clarify and come back to you. I am going to wrap it up at this point. Thank you so much. We've had a massive amount of people join us today for this live session. It has been a great pleasure. Thank you, Chris, uh, the mastermind behind this solution for being here with us today. Um, we look forward to speaking to more of you as we hear about your growing engagement, remote engagement needs. I look forward to discussing this new solution with you more. Have a great day. Do check out more information and we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much and goodbye.